This is Top Contender Boxing. We'll keep it real. A hundred and unbiased. Today's topic, we're going to talk about the events that's happening right now with with uh, Benavidez and Boo that just happened. And should Benavidez fight Canelo next? Or what's going to happen? Canelo going to fight Munguia? Or if, if Canelo and Benavidez can't happen this year and they, sing, they, they tell Benavidez to fight a fighter, who do you think he should fight? Or what's going to happen? But uh, first things first, let's go over again. You know, we did, I didn't, I didn't, these couple of days, I haven't had a time with my uncle because I've been at work or, you know, like whatever days we catch off and make different videos. Let me get my uncle's opinion on what he thought about the fight. So what do you think about the, um, the, uh, the Benavides and, and uh, what's his face? Boo-boo. Yeah, it was boo-boo with the fight. It was boo-boo. <laughs> it, was, was boo -boo. it was boo-boo. But, um, <laughs> you know, what it, a lot of us, you know, Canelo fans, is, you know, we, that's what we expect. Doesn't matter, right? Yeah. You know, no, no, seriously. And um, that's what Canelo never wanted to fight him. But, hey, he did exactly what I thought he was going to do. But he, and he actually did go, like, a little bit forward, you know. Yeah. And Benavides couldn't, you know, he hurt him, of course. He stopped him. But he didn't hurt him. Like, I thought he was going to probably try and knock him out. He couldn't do that. Yeah. But he did what he had to do. But and he was missing a lot, too, Benavides. Yeah, yeah. So that's, those, those are big flags, you know. Yeah. Um, but... Hey, Canelo will catch that ass fucking slipping. Yeah, yeah. Right there, you know? Yeah. You know, just by being sloppy. But yeah, the fight was, I guess it was good for, Bene uh, for Benavides, but he didn't gain no no, no extra fame with me, you know? He fought somebody that's never fought a champion, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, just keep it real, you know? Boo was more like a B, C fighter. Depending what level. At this level, he's more oh, no, like a C. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, and what I mean by this level, at 68. So. Yeah, at 60, he's probably like a B, a good B. Mm -hmm. You know? So, you know, that, that, that's what they just tell you, you know? Um, yeah. You know, Canelo's going to eat good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's going to grow that. What's my, your... My, my, my opinion of that, uh, the, the Boo Boo and uh, Benavides, like we're saying, there's, there's levels and, and, and A grading, level grading for 68, Boo Boo's not a true 68 pounder. We know that. Yeah. He moved up from 60. He already had problems. At, well, he had problems at 68. He, he was getting dropped and had and had tough times with with uh, C level 68 pounders. So that's really where his ranking is at 68. He's a C level fighter. When it comes down to 60, he's really a B level fighter. Now, why is he a B level fighter? Because hey, he didn't fight Triple G one. And Triple G would have given him problems worse than Benavides did. Because Benavides is, is a straight come forward, throw everything a bit more than Benavides, more accurate. He didn't, both, yeah. yeah, he didn't fight a, a, a Triple G. He didn't fight a Daniel Jacobs. He didn't fight a, a, plant. a plant. Well, that's a 68. He didn't fight, oh, even, yeah. Yeah, even if he would have had 68, he still would have had those problems. Yeah. Um, he didn't fight a Charlo at 60. He didn't fight a John Abick. He ducked his mandatory to go up. The man sees if he loses here, he won't get his opportunity. Exactly. He got a bigger payday. Okay, cool. He, he might lose to, to you know what I'm saying, yeah. to a big Mexican name, you know? Yeah. He, he gets more money. Other, and, and that's funny you say that. Other channels try to blow up Boo Boo, you know? I'm not going to lie. Boo Boo is probably a great 54-pounder, but I don't think at his age, at 34, he can't do it. But like I was saying, there's a lot of there's a lot of biased channels, a lot of biased narratives, and there's a lot of people fanboying for him, for, for Boo Boo, because, hey... For the people that understand boxing and know what they're watching and know what they're looking at, been, been studying the game for a very long time, besides his awkward style, we knew his style wasn't going to last this long. The man got dropped by Mata Rojan at 54 against a nobody. Yeah. Uh, somebody that uh, Triple G dropped in two rounds. So, I mean, that should, that should explain where his level was at. But people like to be arrogant and ignorant and not, you know, see the facts. But okay, we saw the facts this week. One... Uh, two, they, they, both fighters got exposed, Benavides and Boo Boo. After watching it again and going over it again, Benavides, one thing, he left, he swung wide. He was missing a lot. He was coming a lot with hooks. He was trying to hook him. And I understand why he was hooking him. Because if you're catching somebody move, you're going to try to hook his area to get the punch while Boo Boo was going right under him. Boo Boo was doing good for three rounds until... Obviously, the pressure of the punches, the heavier punches, were starting to make the effect when Boo was starting to get caught. And it's not that Benavides hits hard, because if you, if you think Benavides hits hard, why did Plant, this is the best way I can formulate it, why did Plant... Um, last the whole 12 rounds with him? Exactly. Yeah. Why did he last the whole 12 rounds with him? 
And, and, Boo, and he stands right in front of him, not like when he fucked Canelo, right? Yeah, he was like straight. Not even. The, Canelo was probably just had 10% of him in the front, you know, straight up. And it was Benavides, he was in front of him like 90% of the whole fight. Yeah, Canelo had a chase you know? plant. Yeah. I mean, Canelo had a chase plant he, in their fight. Canelo had to work for his. Yeah. You know, and, um, and Benavides had him right there in front of him. But people are still don't understand that. That they still look at Benavides like, oh, well, that's because some people don't see boxing the way we do it, yeah. you know. And and in that he, fight with in that fight with, with Benavides, that man had no defense because he had know, a high guard, but he, he was still getting caught. Here in boxing, you know, I think on this sport we have to go by what who they fought right and yeah. who they fought last, yeah. you know. Because if somebody fought three good fights. Be you know before a good event, a bet, you know, so then we know what that person's gonna do. He's gonna be you know, you know, fighting, yeah. you know. So that's you know right there it just tells you you know. Exactly. No, no, you're you're, you're on point because yeah, like people like to, people don't like to go off the last performance. Yeah. They like to go off the performance exactly. they got right now. Uh -huh. And and really, that's that's a lot of these biased uh, people that watch boxing or don't know boxing or, or a lot of these bo uh, uh, biased channels or racial channels. You know what? Okay. So Ben Vies looked that way, but he looked great tonight. Okay, so if Canelo had an all right night against Ryder, I mean, he broke his nose and broke his face. <coughs> You're saying he's on the decline, but then when he, he he makes Charlo look really bad when he's healthier off the hand and his stamina's up clear, oh, well, he's still in decline. He looks a little older. I'm like, come on, dude. What, what, if he beats Ben Vies, what's he still in the decline? I mean, I think we're all on the decline in age and, and everything. But people still tend to... Uh, Crawford, he's 35. He's older than Canelo. But he I looks he was perfect. 36, either one, yeah. But he looks fucking perfect. Yeah. Come yeah. on, dude. Yeah. That dude is not doing fucking... I mean, I'm not saying he's not doing half of the shit Canelo is, but he's not... He doesn't he, fuck nobody. He, he doesn't do it constantly. Yeah. Like Canelo does. Yeah. You know? Every other fighter Canelo fight, it, it's like a Terrence Crawford to him. I mean, like a Spence to him. Oh, you know? yeah. Yeah, it's you a know? big... It's, it's a, a, it's a yeah. big event. And Canelo's used to even bigger ones yeah. than that. So he's used to the fame and everything. Since he was a kid, he was fighting Mosley's, Kodos. Yeah. Yes, and then... All the... All the... Lada, 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 all the Warriors. Yeah, exactly. The Trouts. Mm -hmm. sure. Right? The undefeated Trouts. Yeah, the Jacobs, the Cons. The Cons with Triple G's. Yeah, the Triple G's. Man. Yeah, like, come on, man. I mean, Canelo's... The, 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 the lights ain't never gonna be big for Canelo. But... Then again, let's, you know, that's what we thought about Boo Boo and Benavidez. That there was a lot of openings there for Benavidez. He he left himself open. His defense was open. His, you know, he was swinging a lot wide. And that's one thing about Canelo. He power's not moment, that great either. Yeah, the moment you make a mistake, you're going to get caught with Canelo. That's one thing. Yeah, people like to judge Canelo off the Bebo fight, like I keep saying. But hey, dude, the man was injured. The man took him lightly, thinking this is going to be an easier event than he did Kovalev. His hand was fractured. That, that's what he had. A, yeah, he had a fracture, and he had, which he had surgically repaired. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, look at him now. The man looks sharp and strong. Woo. The gas is up. The yeah. man's hungrier. The man went back to training right after. He wants more. Yeah. So what? Okay. So what do you think? Do you think Canelo? You think Canelo and Benavides immediately, or you think Canelo and Jaime, Jaime Munguia immediately? Because they're, you know, they're, they're. they're Right now they're, uh, they're well, sanctioning Canelo to fight Mungia. The WBO, you know, they're they that has nothing to do with you know with with um with you know with WBC. Yeah. So, you know, with uh, what's but then name? again, there's you know you can you know, they're different. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And um, so I think they're gonna sanction them. Um, Mungia. Yeah, they're they're gonna sanction them. For Cinco de Mayo. Huh? Yeah, but uh, because come on, Cinco de Mayo it's a big fight. Yeah. You know. Why not have two Mexicans yeah, go at it? Why not have two? You know, saying two Mexicans go at it on a perfect day. You know. Yeah. And two known Mexicans, too, like Mungia, he hasn't been tested that good, but he's been tested more than Google. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But you know, what I'm saying I think the division and him would have been. But yeah, I think that's who Canelo's gonna get. I think after I, I know Jaime Mungia is probably hating himself because he oh, yeah. to fight Bubu. He could have yeah, those are two big pages with the Benavides. Yeah. He's, 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 I think Mohamed would be problems right there to Benavides. If, if the WBO doesn't sanction this fight, if the WBO doesn't sanction the Canelo fight, if they let the WBC get this glory, because the WBO is not really offering a good, a good fight for Canelo. No one wants to see Monkey on Canelo. <coughs> but they if, can wait like yeah, another six months. They can wait another six months. They can wait for, for September 18th. So in that time, say Canelo does get Benavides, I would actually like to see Mungia against Ryder. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, ooh, uh, that'll be a dog fight. Yeah, that'll be a dog fight, and I really but don't then, see Ryder going out that easy. But, and then too, we gotta to see how Ryder. Actually, Ryder was I think younger than Canelo, like by a year. And then, but now that, but I want to see how how his face is too. Remember, he's probably gonna go to another fight like that. Yeah. yeah. He's not. Gonna, he's not gonna want another fucking Canelo ass whooping like that. Yeah. He yeah. broke his nose, dude. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's always leaving something behind. If, if he, if he ain't not knocking you out, he's leaving some kind of stamp behind. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna stamp he'll break your, your arm. He's gonna tore your muscle he'll off. He's gonna stamp your face. He'll break your face like 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 uh, Saunders, Saunders or, or Ryder in the other hand. <laughs> All the writers and Saunders. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. But, um, yeah, we don't, we, us real Canelo fans, we don't want to see the Munguia. No. I really want to see him fight Benavides. I do. Yeah. I do. Because you get the Benavides name out the way, yep. I think he'll be ready for people after that. Because you're fighting a man, Benavides, let's, let's be real. He's a real 70, 175 pounder. Uh, he, he, he can't even make weight. It's hard for him to make weight. He has no business at, 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 at uh, uh, yeah, 68. 68. Maybe she should just stay 75. Maybe, maybe Canelo wants you there better because he can fight him at 75 and they fight Bibo. Exactly. Exactly. That, that, that would actually be a who great knows, idea. Who knows that that's Canelo probably what he's thinking. But then again, I understand. I understand uh, Benavides because he came closer to having it at one time. But then remember, he was at 68 already, right, Benavides? Yeah. So he had a chance to fight Colin Smith. Two times, yeah, yeah. chance. The Muhammad Ali winner. People, people like to say, Colin Smith, Colin Smith. Like, bro, he was a Muhammad Ali winner. He, was a mama, he, he did the same him. shit Andre Ward did, and there's not enough love in the world to give Canelo or that other fighter. And then, and then Con- Ryder fucking beat Colin Smith. And then, Con- and then Colin Smith was already a, a, a light heavyweight champ at that time. Yeah, you remember? Yeah, yeah. He went down in '68 from a light heavyweight, and now he went back up. And then he went back to back to '75. Knocking, knocking fighters down at '75. And then he goes down just to fight. I should tell you guys the truth and tell you enough already what was going to be said right that, now. That Canelo messed up his, uh, he ripped his He ripped his bicep and the man still goes up 75 knocking dudes out. That's Colin Smith. That's the guy Benavides didn't want to fight. That's when the Ryder lost to him. That's, he lost to but it was he, controversial. Yeah, Ryder won that too. fight. If you watch that fight, Ryder won that fight. And, and he fight Jacobs. Jacobs. Yes. Yeah. yeah I, I see the Jacobs going on. Oh, man, dude. These fucking judges are fucking... They're blind, dude. Yeah, yeah. What the yeah. fuck? What fight are they watching, dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what the fuck are you watching, dude? Like, you you seen fucking homeboy... They're pressuring him. Dude. That's one thing about Ryder. He puts the pressure. Uh, Ryder got Tatanka truck. Yeah. He just comes to him, dude. Like, yeah. like, he doesn't like to stop. Oh, he, oh. he puts pressure. puts pressure on you, dude. He warns you out. Yeah. Well, say Canelo, because already, there's already, like, video of Crawford over there. Giving Benavides love. You know, he was A game, he looked good, he was, you know, he's ready for Canelo. So then it makes you wonder if, uh, I, I, I'm betting my money and my bottom dollar, Crawford saw that strength, that weight, that height. <coughs> and he knows he can't do nothing to those guys at 68. What do you think, Crawford? Oh no, Crawford can't, no. Crawford, he got to worry about Virgil right now too. You got to worry about Virgil, no, Bumai, man, all these dudes. And he, in, in, I think he avoided Virgil at 54. I mean, at, at, 47. at, at 47. You know, yeah. Virgil was there. He had all the junior belts. Mm-hmm. You know. He was number two. Yeah. And um, it, it Spence did too. They told him to fight uh, uh, Mechanosis, what's his name? The, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, about Me Machine? Yeah, they go, yeah. Me Machine, yeah. Couple of mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. There you go. They're, um, remember the, uh, uh, Jeff Crawford told him to, uh, fight Kevin and then see what happens. He, he, he ended him a round before, I think it was. He ended him a round before, and then Kevin went way harder than Virgil. Yeah, he went all Italian, and he goes, hey, man, you, you were way harder than, um, than Jeff Crawford, man. He goes, oh, wow. What well, we're basically saying here is that, that Crawford still has unfinished business yeah. at, at, at his weight, but the problem is, a lot of people like to skip ahead and say it's okay for him to skip his mandatories. It's okay for him to skip the, the names that he has to skip. It's like Canelo skipping fucking Benavides another fucking oh, man. three more years and saying this fight ain't gonna be worth it. I'd rather go fight Crawford and then go fight fucking Munguia and then they didn't and skip my way. When Terrence Crawford and Spence. Yeah, there you go. There they you were go. at 47 for years. Yeah. You know, the, the you know, people don't actually say nothing about that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, like we're saying, there's levels to this, and, and Crawford, he's skipping levels to go fight the best, because he thinks he's the best. There's levels to this, there's weights to this, there's power to this. What did Boo Boo learn? 
What did Boo Boo learn? That there's levels to this. There's power to this. And what is Crawford going to learn? You think Boo Boo looked like shit? I think Crawford's going to look even worse. <laughs> there you go. Done. Just the, my comparison's over. You're going to tell me Boo Boo ain't stronger than, than, than Crawford? There's no way. There's no way. I think Boo Boo murders him at 54. <laughs> so that, there's comparisons here, guys. You guys want to play the triangle theory? That is a triangle theory. Boo Boo's an Olympian. Crawford, come on. Crawford only beat a narrow Spence that would would have had problems with Boo Boo. So, I mean, that was a good breakdown, right? That, that, was, 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 that was a perfect breakdown. Perfect because, analogy right there. Because yeah, yeah uh, uh, Boo Boo is way stronger than uh, Terrence Crawford. Yes. You know, and uh, but not way stronger, but he's stronger. So now imagine him with. <laughs> and and Boo Boo slick too. So. Oh, dude. Yeah, Terrence Crawford will get murdered. <laughs> That's what Crawford probably realized. Like, hmm, if I switch and move around and I still get caught by the dude, I'm going to feel it. And that's just Benavidez. And remember, Benavidez doesn't have a strong punch. He couldn't knock out Plant. What does Canelo do to Plant? Murder the dude. And then, too, um, with, uh, with What Benavidez? does Canelo do to Charlo? Murder the dude. The undisputed one. And the dude was running, too. Levels for reasons. Levels for reasons. And, and I think that child will be good for Tim Spofford. Yeah. It's like watching a dog fight a fucking wolf. That ain't gonna... <laughs> that ain't gonna pair off right. Yeah. But we will bring a new topic up as soon as we find out about Canelo and Jaime Munguia or the next events. Because you know what? I'm, I'm pretty sure a month from now we're gonna find out what Benavides is gonna do, his camp, and what Canelo's gonna do. And then again, PBC, that was our last event. So we're not going to have no more fights for PBC probably into the next year. So next month, we'll find out. So in a month from now, we're going to truly find out when Canelo's next date is. Because the man has already had about almost two months off. So his body's already healed up. He's already in training camp. I'm hoping it's not, you know, I'm a real Canelo fan. I'm a real fan of the sport. I'm a Canelo fan, but I'm a real fan of the sport. I want to see Canelo and Benavides. So we're going to see when we get this news and update. Hopefully he doesn't fight uh, Jaime Munguia, you know. But um, like and subscribe, everybody. Thank you, guys. Thank you.